Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in this series of Terraform for Beginners or Terraform Bootcamp. In today's video, we're going to talk about tuples and objects. A lot of people uh, call it tuples as well. So uh, you can choose whatever you want to speak. Okay, so uh, before moving further, you know the drill, kindly subscribe the channel because that would really support me to create more content like this. All right. So let us dive right into the video and understand what exactly tuples are. Okay. So uh, tuples are basically ordered collection of values that can be of uh, different types. All right. So uh, you can say tuples are typically used to group related values together. In Terraform, tuples are represented using parentheses. Uh, I can show an example. So this is, these are the values over here and these are the parentheses that are, uh, they act as a separating um, the values with commas. You can uh, separate the values with comma within the parentheses. And this is an example of uh, a tuple in Terraform. So in this example, uh, you can see that of f u u fu bar and bars are the values there are multiple examples of it uh, we'll see in the demo part as well okay the other thing we're going to talk about today is objects so uh, an object is an unordered collection of key value pairs it allows you to store and access values using unique keys in terraform objects are represented by curly braces so here is an example of it so these are the curly braces uh, they contain uh, the key and the values these parentheses will enclose the key value pairs. Here's an example of it, which is uh, you can see name equal to John Doe, age equal to 30. Here it's a string and here it's a number. So uh, that's a very um, basic idea of, it, uh, idea of it. So both tuples and objects are commonly used in Terraform for various purposes, such as uh, passing multiple values as a single argument, uh, defining complex configurations or representing dynamic data structures. So uh, there is a uh, thing that these tuples and objects are kind of uh, complex variables and uh, in Terraform tuples and objects can be used for to represent different types of data as I already said. said uh, another example of it, a tuple could be used to represent a list of IP, IP addresses and an object can be used uh, to represent a user configuration. So uh, this is a very uh, basic idea of it. All right, so let us uh, see an example through the code. Okay, so we are into our Visual Studio code. I have created a file main underscore tuple underscore and underscore object dot tf over here in order to understand it. And this is inside understanding variables. You can find all of this code on the repository which I have provided in the description section. Okay, so let's go with the, uh, let's, let us understand the object first, sorry, tuple first. So we're gonna introduce a variable. Variable is the first thing and after that, um, this IntelliSense will automatically come so you have to give a name over here so i'll just give my tuple over here and after that uh, you have to give the type so type is basically it's a collection right so what we'll do is uh, it's a keyword over here and you can see in the intellisense you have to give values over here so uh, in the first one you can see that these are the bar brackets over here type string i mean you can use anything i'll just give an example string number i'll take string again and i'll take a number again okay so this is done oh, over here let's come down after that what are the default value that's going to take so if we provide external value through if you want to pass the value uh, from the console you can do that but if you're not doing that we have to provide some values right so let's take an example so i'll put husky over here husky is a breed of a dog and after that, uh, just any number. So I'll just take a uh, one over here, I guess. And after that, uh, another string it is expecting. So I'll give Persian, which is a breed of a cat. And any number, let's say four. Okay, so this is an example. So you can see that it's a tuple and this string is for Husky. This number is for one. For this string, we have Persian and for this number, we have four. So this is a very basic example of it. All right, let us talk about an object variable okay so just give it a name i'll just give it a name my object okay and we'll take an example of let's say uh, first of all we have to give a type right so type is an object as we have given type tuple over here you have to give it over here okay so it's an object and you can type the whole thing but uh, if you use the intellisense uh, it will be great for you object and then in the object what you have to do is you have to give curly braces if you are aware about it 
and inside that curly braces you have to give uh, the key key pair values so uh, i'll take name over here and inside that name what kind of name we will have we'll have string and then we'll have the key as port and here we're going to take list so if you're aware we are already we have already explained uh, what exactly is a list and here the list would be number because port are basically numbers okay so this is good after that uh, default we're going to take is let's say okay for the name uh, i'll give you can give any any name i'll give my ports this is as per your choice and for the port you have to give uh, right now we have uh, you can have any number of it okay i think i missed this over here i guess okay after that i think i missed one thing over here okay so this looks good this is a good thing uh, that intellisense shows you everything okay this looks fine uh, inside that port you have to give any number of values i'll give uh, uh, let's say 80 port uh, and um, 8080 or 8090 is fine or 22 the ssh one so this is an example of it so uh, we are using a list over here and list uh, is a collection of uh, number over here right now and we have three numbers over here all right, all right. so in this object you have a name uh, which would be string which it comes like this and we will be using list with a number which has the port number so this is a very basic example of it also one very important thing to understand over here is in the list when, when we talk about the list over here, there would be indexes and the indexes always starts with zero. So in this case, 80 would be at zeroth index, 8090 as first index, 22 would be at second index and so on and so forth. So this is very important thing in terms of list in order to understand. All right. So I hope you folks have understood this video. Uh, we're going to talk about more. Uh, we're going to do more on the demo part uh, in the upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I, I will address all of them. So thanks, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.